Hello, and let's win some more chemistry. Welcome to part two of solubility. In this segment, we're gonna learn about precipitates and spectator ions. So basically, what happens when you mix two different solutions, you're gonna get a solid precipitate that appears, and then some spectator ions that don't contribute at all to the reaction. Let's examine a double displacement reaction involving lead nitrate and potassium iodide. So you can see here when we start, they're both clear solutions, but as soon as they mix, it forms a yellow precipitate. Our job now is to find out which one of these products is the yellow precipitate, and we have to use our solubility guidelines. And there's two rules that we'll look at specifically, and we'll explain in just a moment, but it's gonna be rule three and rule two. Okay, and so you need to watch part one if you haven't done so already. This is a double displacement reaction, so it's always in the form AX plus BY. So on the product side, essentially what happens is A will switch with B. So you're going to form AY plus BX. So now I'm going to circle my A, and we're going to circle Y. So on the product side, you're going to form lead iodide. And now I'm going to circle B, and we're going to circle X, and this forms potassium nitrate. So of those two products, which one was my precipitate? We're going to find out. So lead iodide, and we're going to look at our notes too, lead iodide is our solid precipitate. So S stands for solid, which means it's insoluble. Okay. And by rule three, uh, we know that it's the insoluble product. It won't dissolve in water. And potassium nitrate is aqueous. It dissolves in water by rule two. So let's look at a drawing. So the yellow pigment, the yellow precipitate that formed was lead iodide. Okay, and I know that it, it's the yellow precipitate, it, it's got to be the solid because according to rule three, it says all binary compounds of 7A elements are soluble except those of silver, mercury, and guess what? Lead. So we found our rule. It's the closest match. Okay, next up is potassium nitrate. And by rule two, it says these are all common acetates and nitrates are soluble, so this will dissolve in water. And when it dissolves in water, it's called a spectator ion because it kind of just watches the reaction. It doesn't contribute to making the solid. That's where the name comes from. So here's our second reaction. We're gonna look at magnesium sulfate and sodium hydroxide. And when we combine these two, it forms this bluish, white, cloudy precipitate and that precipitate happens to be magnesium hydroxide. And we're going to find some rules on our guidelines uh, to determine which one was the precipitate, okay? or to confirm that magnesium hydroxide was the precipitate. So it's in the form again AX plus BY. And on the product side, it's going to make AY plus BX. Okay, but first we're going to circle A. We're going to circle Y, and we're going to write it on the product side. So it's going to make magnesium hydroxide, MgOH2, because I need to crisscross the charge over. And we're going to add this to compound BX. So now we're going to circle B, and we're going to circle X. Okay, and we're going to form... It looks like sodium sulfate, so remember to cross a charge, Na2, SO4. Make sure you balance your charge, or you balance your equation. Okay, now magnesium hydroxide is our uh, solid. That's our precipitate, and this is by rule 5. Sodium sulfate is aqueous. These are the spectator ions by rule 4. Let's look at them in depth. We're going to draw a picture again. So this is magnesium hydroxide, and it says by rule five, 
carbonates, hydroxides, oxides, sulfides, and phosphates are insoluble. We found our rule because it mentioned hydroxide. And now for sodium sulfate, all sulfates are soluble except barium, strontium, calcium, silver, and mercury. So these have to be the spectator ions. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you guys some more on the next edition of Wind Chemistry.